I was just trying to hide the dirty laundry, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this isn't live, but it is going to get released uh, shortly after. So we've got uh, Jeff Rathgaber here with us, and we are in the middle of a live auction with the Jackie Robinson gold bust. It's been a two-way race most of the way, but uh, I think it's I think we all know who David and I are pulling for here. <laughs> oh no, no, thank thank you guys. I'm 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 pretty nervous right now, and uh, I'm just I'm just putting in the in the in the candy chat right now. I'm just saying that I'm on with Nate and Dave. I'm gonna step away for a minute. Well, listen, I'm hoping at some point American Express is gonna be like, dude, you're done. <laughs> so, <laughs> So, I mean, you know, the, the one of the, the, the series one, if you will, one of one of Jackie Robinson, I mean, come on, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's, there's, uh, there, there's, you know, I, I don't know anyone I hold in baseball reference, uh, uh, the way I do Jackie. So we'll see how this goes. I was sitting there watching this. I was at my parents' house and then I saw your ping or I saw reasonable's ping and shoved everything in my bag and jumped in the car. <laughs> See, that's why I love you guys. You guys, that, that, that's how you do it, you know? Life is about showing up, and uh, I respect your guys' game and your hustle. Uh, all right, guys, here we go. Here goes the Jackie bid. Love it. Oh, 40, jumping right to it. I love that we have the, the, slight, the slight edge on what's happening. You heard it here first on Talking Candy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the other folks decide that's enough. We hope for you too. No, thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, at some point this has to end. <laughs> you know. Well, for your sake, I hope it ends before another Winklevoss twin gets involved. <laughs> that's how Luke Gary ended. Is that is that right? Yeah, um, Tyler Winklevoss, I believe, won the Lou Gehrig one of one auction. I, it was I, no kidding. I, I didn't know that. Heavy, wow. Yeah. If it comes down to that, it's not going to be much of a fight. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it comes but, down to that, then it's a uh, you know it's, it's time to go get some dinner and uh, uh, change well, the you're change still, the old boxer shorts. You're still making a big impact for just the participation, just the back and forth between you and multiple people now at this point. That even if you don't walk away with it, you've been a major part of this thing. No, but, I, I love the I love the community. You know, it, it's uh, uh, you know, I mean, listen, we, when we talked on the podcast, I was saying, you know, it's you can talk baseball with anybody anytime and have great arguments and debates and all this other stuff, and then you know, everybody's still friends. It's uh, it's cherished on many levels. Talking baseball with people that like to talk baseball has been a central theme uh, of relationships throughout my entire life. So I totally understand what absolutely. you're saying. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, like when you, right, like baseball friends, even if it's just like, you know, you happen to be watching the same game at a sports bar or something like that, and you get to talking or anything like that, they immediately move to your inner circle, even though you've never seen them before. And there's a good chance you might never see them again. But if you do, it's like, oh my God, how. Are you? Mm -hmm. They're also some of the fastest friendships I've ever made. People that I didn't yeah. even know before and then just immediately just such a such a deep connection. It's more instant than when two people with labradoodles are walking the same dog down the street at the same time and they run into each other. It's tighter than that. Yep. Alan guys, Alan B stepped on the Jackie bid. He stepped on it? Oh. Yeah. We don't see it yet, but that's disappointing. You firing another bullet? Uh, ch -ch -ch. yep, it's out. We're gonna get two at once then. So quick, so quick to respond. That was so. I was sitting there watching this with my parents, and my dad and I. I told them. <laughs> I told them who you were and how I we had interviewed you, and and my dad goes, "I like his style. As soon as somebody bids, he just fires another, another bullet real quick. Lets them know that he's still involved." <laughs> yeah, just you know, like like if you if you. You know, plus I'd like to wrap it up, but also, you know, I had to take nothing for granted. Uh, uh, it, great to win the bid. I, I fully, fully ready not to, you know, uh, mm -hmm. for that eventuality. But might as well just put it out there right away. And if you know, if that can in any way demoralize the other side, 
I don't know. This is this is where like game theory and psychology comes in, and neither of those are strengths for me. Well, and just giving it more time is gonna give more opportunity for someone brand new to hear about the bidding war who might not yeah. have otherwise uh, stepped in. All I know is I'm glad that I jumped in the car and and drove here. I never, you know, I I thought it would be sort of like you know down to two or three and then bid 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 and and then you know and it wouldn't be these full four and a half minute increments every time every what time I, the baton passes yeah i wasn't i wasn't sure based on the verbiage if it was that a bid in the last five minutes would just extend it by five minutes total but then quickly realized that it, every single bid kicks it out further which obviously is is for the best for the excitement and the the pricing in general but yeah yeah it's, sure. it's not helping you at this moment. <laughs> no, no, it's not helping my blood pressure. You know, when you think you're maybe like your, your strategy is like, oh, if I put a bit out right away or whatever, and then you realize if the other guy drags it all the way, maybe he's the one winning the second. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because like you think you, you're getting so close and at the last second they step on you go, oh, damn it. I think that it goes both ways because he's... Uh letting you get your hopes up before bidding, but you're immediately letting him know that you're not going anywhere. So you're playing just two, two different sides of the spectrum. At some point, I think you start getting those threatening text messages from American Express saying, you know, you know we need to speak to you right now, sir. <laughs> you're under oh. attack. <laughs> yeah. Does someone have your card? Or, yeah. <laughs> Do you know them? I would know by now. Oh, boy. They should have you on a first name basis. After today, I don't know. Maybe the uh, maybe they say, uh, you know what? We don't need customers like you giving us heart attacks. Or... <laughs> so when did you decide that that you were gonna be in the running here? Was it as soon as you saw the announcement of this product? Oh, the moment the moment I saw it. Yeah, absolutely. And you said that you're a huge Jackie Robinson fan. Yeah. I mean, we all are, of course, but it's something particularly special to you. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I didn't, you know, I, you know, I, I was born in 1970, so I wasn't, you know, not old and not that old. Uh, so it's funny. I was one of the a lot of Mets fans when, you know, because what Fred Fred Wilpon grew up with Sandy Koufax, right, in, in Brooklyn, and they were huge. They grew up as big Brooklyn Dodger fans, and and when they first built City Field, um, a lot of Mets fans were like. You know, hey, this is great, but it's you know it's basically a tribute to the Brooklyn Dodgers and Jackie Robinson. Like, don't because there wasn't like a little Mets Hall of Fame in there yet. If you remember, they have a nice thing now, and it's got really cool historical pieces in there and meaningful jerseys and bats from great mo great Mets moments. But that wasn't in there when they first opened the stadium. It was the giant number forty two in the in the rotunda, the Jackie Robinson rotunda. His famous quote, you know, across the top. Uh, um, and it's funny, a lot of Mets fans, I think, were a little bent, like, yeah, we love Jackie, too, but where's the Mets stuff? And I was just like, we're good, man. This is awesome. <laughs> You were sad. I, I was in the, I was, uh, I dissented for the minority there, for in the, in the minority vote. What, what's the timer <laughs> at for you? Oh, there it is. He stepped on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we're approaching the outer bands here, fellas. Hey, Regardless of the outcome, this has been fun. <laughs> I'm having a heart attack over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I was of two minds earlier because it seemed like it was going to go in like the twelve or 13,000 range, and I wanted you to win it there, and that would have been fantastic. But at the other time, that didn't seem like enough, right? It seemed like too low. I still wanted you to win, but too low and no, this I, I felt the same way i said this thing this thing can't go out at 13k no that's just that's just bad for baseball if that were to happen so as much as on Here a we selfish are. level yeah, later. i would have loved it it would have been wrong did you say yeah. that we were not we don't know who alan b is do we are we aware of who that is in the community i don't know i, I know you two guys and that's it <laughs> <laughs> I'm not familiar with the name, but I'll be doing some yeah. digging as soon as we're done here. All right, we're getting down to pucker time here, guys. Oh, you jumped right up to 50 after that 47. Dinner's on the table, fellas. <laughs> oh, literally, dinner's on the table. That's yeah, <laughs> so, so, so was mine. I left it behind. <laughs> 
I went I went home to sort out our Red Sox tickets and have dinner, and uh, and I I left the dinner right on the table. Actually, my mom my mom <laughs> packed me up a doggy bag. She's a good mom. Oh man, see what's better than a baseball mom? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hey right. guys, we're down to five seconds. Yeah, I see. I see zero seconds. I'm to get their hopes up, but it's looking. Checking it status. Says auction closed. I think it closed. Did we do this? Did we do it? Check. I still see checking status. Me too. Oh boy. Guys, I'm very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> 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 oh man oh come on please, come on please please come on come on it says uh, we are verifying the bids for the auction this will only take a minute or so you only have to be puckered for a minute or so jeff oh my gosh jeez on top of the hour that you've already been puckered Oh, I refreshed too much. That's he's mad. Ah, oh, come on! I was let let it be official. I think your plus three K may have worked there, Jeff. I'm having a heart attack here. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody DM Uzman. What's going on? Um, if another bid shows up, I'm gonna cry rigged. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! This game's under protest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the clock struck zero. Our guy was in first. I don't want to hear it. Oh man, the longest minute or so of your life. It it really is. Whew. My screen says where the time used to be. It says checking status. And yep. It's kind of pulsating. You know, mm -hmm. are you seeing the same thing? Yes. Okay. And I'm refreshing every few seconds in case it doesn't <laughs> it itself. I'm just, I'm just thanking all the guys on the candy chat. Usman, they were all, they were all terrific. You've, uh, you've created quite the legend for yourself, whether you intended to or not, and uh, you got a lot of people cheering for you. So, you, I, hey, you, listen, you, I, I, I absolutely appreciate all of it. Well, oh, we, man. we appreciate it because you've made this more fun for all of us. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I mean, ah, Jackie Robinson. I was crazy excited to get one of those two hundred fifty dollars silver busts, so I can't even imagine what you're feeling right now. I, I I got off the Long Island Railroad and I couldn't get a decent signal because those things went off in ten seconds. Yeah, it was it was and even my less. Train got in right around then, and and I, you know I, I wanted to I want to try to grab one of those right away, but this is the one I had my eyes on. Was, I think you're yeah. you're getting the right one here. But yeah, those silver ones were gone in three seconds. And there were a couple that got relisted pretty cheap in the grand scheme of things, but they went quick too. Well, you know, when when I missed, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna save my dry powder for this one. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We understand why. <laughs> How is it still checking? I don't know, man. It just it just feels like bad mojo for me to walk away before it, while it's still saying checking, checking. You know. Mm -hmm. You think of you know, you know. You think of all the Jets fans when they when they switched away to the movie Heidi, and then there was the game. And they, you know, if you look up the famous the Heidi game, the network switched out because it was a lopsided Jets loss on the way, and uh, you know they made some miracle comeback, and 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 all the Jets fans were watching Heidi, <laughs> watching the, the Swiss girl running around the mountain singing the song or whatever. So you gotta, you gotta believe. Boy, this is painful. <laughs> no, I mean, this 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 piece is too important. They got to do the right thing and make sure it's, yeah. it's everything locked down properly. I totally get it, but yeah. <sighs> Damn. You know, my, my, oh my. my kids got my kids got me into soccer, European soccer, and this feels like at the end of the match when everyone's waiting for the ref to blow. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Because what they have like regular time and bonus time and yeah the added time yeah, at the that... end but I'm like come on man blow the whistle come on candy <laughs> blow the whistle extra time stop the fight 
You know what, fellas? I'm going to walk away. I got my family downstairs. God bless them. I got dinner on the table. Uh, I'll catch it on the back end. Sounds good. We appreciate you coming on and sharing this moment with us. We really do. No, no, guys. Hey, I love you guys. Thank you guys for, thank you guys for having me again. And uh, um, uh, I appreciate it. Absolutely. Respect your hustle big time. We will and shout out to mom for packing, for packing <laughs> the meal. That's, uh, moms are the best. Absolutely. Appreciate it. And we will do this again, Jeff. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you soon. All right. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. See you.